regard to coding and research centers, that's uh, anything special about it or it's just common or the same like what other institutions have across the country? Uh, no, uh, I mean, uh, we, we do some special things like, you no, know, see, we, we conduct some competitions and when we ask students to mentor and... See, uh, when you come to competition, sorry, I'm sorry breaking you here, when you, when I mean, I, I was told that uh, you are one of those uh, hand-holding uh, professors at the mm -hmm. university, I mean, Namado School of Engineering, where you handhold each and every individual student till they complete their engineering, which means, you know, uh, you mentor them, you know. And it's not just uh, creating a, yet another computer science engineering, but uh, creating some sort of leadership uh, in them, right? Yeah. And the leadership is created when you allow them to do things by themselves. Yes. And you just monitor, and you just mentor. Yeah. I think you have been a great person for that, and uh, this is what I heard, uh, you know, about you. Uh, why? Because? Because you allow them to have a lot of uh, competition running, uh, you allow them to do a lot of workshops, yeah. uh, you allow them to think beyond, uh, you know, their imaginations. Yeah. Uh, and of course, you allow them to publish uh, journals when they are into, you know, generally people publish journals when you get into your research work, but during your four years of engineering, they do. So these are certain unique, uniqueness which I find in your uh, department of uh, computer science engineering, as far as Amrita School of Engineering in Amrita Pradesh is concerned. Uh, am I right in saying? Exactly. All right. Can, I, can you throw a little more light onto whatever I mentioned? Because it's not just uh, engineering being, it's not just an engineering yeah. being made, you know, it's more of an engineer. Uh, as a leadership engineer, that's what we are looking at. We need leaders to lead this country to much higher rights. Over to you, doctor. So, uh, I would elaborate a little bit more on the AA club that know what we have because it has uh, you know, uh, attracted a lot of attention from the students yeah. because they hear these buzzwords, machine learning, deep learning and all that. So, they want to jump into it as soon as they come. So, what we do is in the coding club, we divide it into two parts. The first part is like we, we get their programming and problem solving skills good okay the first year will focus on that by the end of the first year we can slowly impart them this learning of you know uh, data science and artificial intelligence we, we can build a foundation and what we have observed is that you know if you give the students that uh, you know take this thing learn it and then come and present us present to us okay you know what you have learned and then you know, show us your implementation and we give it in a group like four to five members you know, they take it very seriously and then you know, they, they actually you know, like that mode of learning because uh, where we are not telling them exactly do this, okay. But at the same time, when they actually go little bit uh, deviate from the essential stuff, we are there to monitor them. So, what we do is we have like a weekly we meet them and every group presents what they have done, okay. What, uh, what did they learn about a particular uh, you know, a machine learning algorithm, let us say. And then uh, how did they go about implementation? How did the Python library work, you know, the, uh, the TensorFlow or you know, the, the library package they have used, how did they work and how was their implementation? So, then they try to understand the gaps between them and then they get some insights, very good insights. And then they come and tell us and then uh, even though their explanations are vague, we are able to actually, you know, uh, fine tune that and then we are, we are able to give them the reason why it is so, you know, and what, 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 what is the reason for, you know, the difference between this Python library and your implementation. And at that point of time, they can really catch that. So, Initially, they get a vague idea of uh, algorithm and then they implement, they get a deeper level and once they see this variation comparison and analysis and all, they get a better uh, you know, idea about it and they work alongside research scholars. That makes it even more uh, better because when they interact with uh, some kind of a senior students, you know, obviously they are more free to interact and then they, they, uh, they get some kind of a, uh, a s mentorship which is like, you know, slightly different from what faculty and, uh, you know, uh, a student uh, um, mentorship, but you no, know, they have this kind of a comfort feeling of. You no, know, of course we also uh, do that. We we also interact with them in a more, uh, uh, you know, free way. But you no, know, this uh, with students interaction, I feel that you no, know, it it makes a lot of difference. <laughs>